Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Bourbon Battles. I'm Joe. I'm Chad. Hey, today's Tuesday. Hopefully, you know what that means. We're going to have a blind battle for you. You're going to know what we're drinking, but we don't have any idea. Stick with us and see. All right, here we go. You want to get into the battle box? Is that what's going to be called now? I, you said it the other day. I, know, I, I don't remember it. what it was. You said Battle Box. Did I? Yeah. Chad's going to pick something. There's a lot of rattling around going on there. So you can't just break this. So we're hey, on a shake, rattle, and roll. While Chad's open that, we want to invite you to visit our website at bourbonbattlesblind.com where you can find links to all of our social media and our Patreon page. If you don't know what Patreon is, we released a video maybe last week, whenever you're seeing this, that describes our Patreon community to you. So check that out. You can buy barrel heads. There's all kinds of fun stuff you can do. This is Z. Z. And this is L. You don't think that's a one and a two? Oh, yeah. Why is Z, L? Whatever. You can put that in two? It's a two. Oh, well, I just want to make sure, man. Don't get mad. That's one. This is an L. That's L right there in front of you. Got it. Oh, easy there, heavy pour. What are you talking about? You like to drink more than I do. Make sure you like and subscribe to our YouTube page. That really helps out with everything that we're doing. We need all the subscribers we can get. Oh, there's not, no ethanol at all, hardly. You can also take a second and join in our comments and let us know what you think of this video. Let us know what you think about future videos that you'd like to see. Let us know what you think about Chad's haircut. I'm due to get one, just so everybody knows. I've had glasses on because it's so bright in here, you get sun damage to your eyes, you get cataracts. You stand in here long enough without sunglasses. Retina burn? No, just cataracts. You want that patch, eye patch off <laughs> mic? No, you just got to have it. Well, you didn't have to, but he looks bad without it. What's that all about? We'll talk about it later. <laughs> what's, what's... That's a unicorn. He's a unicorn killer. He got wounded in battle. Oh, we don't know. Yeah. What's that noise? That's Charlie. The legs on that. Oh my god! I mean, hey, why do we drink them blind? Well, I don't know that we always do, but most of the time we drink them blind because why? Because we don't give a rat's ass what's on the label. We just like good whiskey, and we like bad whiskey, and we like medium whiskey, but mostly good whiskey. And we we filmed it today, but we were. So this is why we drink them blind, right? Because we just filmed an episode today. We did. And both of us were floored. I was especially because at how it went down. We don't need to talk about which episode it was because we could say this for a lot of episodes. Mm -hmm. The George T. Stag and Jack Daniel Single believe... Barrel, huh? That's why you should. And when you drink them blind, like if you know you're drinking Blanton's and Evan Williams Bottle and Bond, but you don't know which is which, that's not really drinking them blind. It's not. You need to have somebody go into your whiskey collection and just. Maybe you make a list ahead of time, right? Of, don't even make a list. Just have them pick it. Well, you want some. You don't want to drink like a, a weeded, a high proof weeded bourbon against a very low proof rye whiskey. You want some similarities to really be able to judge because they're just, you know, try to get closer. Not to if that. one tastes better than the other. I don't think it matters. Well, no, you're you're right. But like, as blind as blind can be is the best way to do it. Yeah. Like these, I I we no clue. I mean, they could be rum for all the hell I know. I mean, they're not. I, I smelled and tasted it. We did drink some rum not too long ago. I know. It was out of this world. Oh, run your car off of it. Yeah, that overproof oh, hot. plantation. Crazy. I'm there. I didn't like it. Thanks again, Steve. Uh, that's probably the spirit we've had the most fun with since we started doing this. I just from talking like about it. it. I didn't like it. 170 proof rum. Make you shit in your hand and rub it in your hair. I got cuss. That's what it does. Not my <laughs> hair, your hair. Does it? I'm rubbing your, my beard. I'm going to take a pair of 12 inch shears someday and I'm going to come here right in the middle of filming. I'm going to grab that and just snip it. Dude, that'll cost like $8,000 because <laughs> all this shit. <laughs> Why are you cussing? Be, it'll all be broken on the floor and you'll cut your feet up. Yeah, you, make sure you wear good shoes would that Would you be day. mad? Try it. You guys want to see it? Huh? I asked what they wanted to see it. I take that little car of yours and hook it up to my truck and. and <laughs> Pull it and park to Brownsburg. I'd pull the transmission out of your truck. <laughs> you would? Yeah. 
there's like, like we say this a lot. This is one of, you know, Chad says it a lot. And I really agree with it. It's what we call like somebody coined the phrase, right? Alan over Spirits of French Licks, tractor whiskey. You go out and cut the grass. You can just drink it. It's easy to drink. Maybe you throw it on some I think ice. That, yeah, I'd like to see because I think if, if that would probably be tamed down just a skosh if you put a little water in it. You think it's something like to have a big glass of on the, on the ice? Mm -mm. No? You don't like to do that sometimes? Run your lawnmower around for a couple of hours with a big gulp of Wild Turkey 101 on ice? Uh -uh. you never done that? I have a Four Roses. But... <laughs> right, same thing. It doesn't insert name here. Right. Oh, wow. You know what? We there is. I mean, this right number two is delicious. You can drink like tea. It's delicious. You can drink like tea. Did you already get some water? I didn't. You want some? One drop. Both of them. Oh, first one got in it. This is just this one. Yep. Good. And you can drink it like tea. Hey, if you're in the central Indiana area, make sure you're visiting Red Barrel Liquors over in Mooresville. They've got some phenomenal store picks down there right now. If it's not sold out to Silver Springs and New Rift, go taste it. You tell me I'm lying. I, I'm kind of neutral. I think on number two, water makes it easier to drink, but it, it cuts enough flavor out that I wouldn't do that. Number one did just what I thought it would with water. Made it a little hot? No, takes it away. Takes Ain't the it. heat away. Mm -hmm. The finish is still there, but the, you don't have the burn. This is tough. It's not tough for me to pick the winner. It's tough for me to decide how much more I like one than the other. You guys already know what we're drinking. So they're probably laughing at us. Who cares? I've been laughed at before. I'll be laughed at again. I spent half my life being laughed at. You did? I have. What do you think, bud? <clears throat> I say one of these is a lot better. Same one's a little better. You ready to pick? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. We're the same. Uh, I really enjoyed number two. I thought it was good. I thought number, number one. Number one's good too. It is. I thought with water, uh, it, well, I thought water helped both of them actually, which I usually never say, which leads me to believe they're probably lower proof. Uh, here, you take this one. Which one you got, bud? Uh, I, got, already, I got number two. They already know what we're drinking. So we did not pick this one. We did not pick. Oh. <laughs> we did pick number two. We picked this one. I got number two, bud. Oh, I got number one. Yeah. Okay. We did not pick WB Soffle. <laughs> so, uh, hey, grab uh, Mike down. <laughs> I don't Why? Why is this? This ain't a unicorn. Killer. Uh, how often do you see that? That's a unicorn. I'm going to get two bottles right now. Where? Uh, in Bloomington, Indiana, at Big Red Liquors on Walnut Street, they've got a whole shelf of it. I've only ever seen it one time in my life. Well, I'm just telling you. You ask where I had to tell you. So we're gonna call. It, I'm gonna call this the Unicorn <clears throat> Killer Series. I don't think Chad's gonna call it the Unicorn Killer Series, but who cares? That's tough to find. Okay. This is W. B. Soffel at a Wild Turkey Distillery. I guess I can read it's it. It's funny, bud. You know why it's funny? 107 proof. It's <clears throat> um. 107 proof. It's a blend of six, eight, 10, and 12 year old bourbons. So 75% corn, 13% rye, 12% malted barley. Did you see what Wild Turkey's new uh, master's selection is going to be this year? I did not. It's a blend of like five different aged six, whiskeys. Six, eight, 10, and 12. <laughs> yeah. So, um, do we have any? It, uh, we do. It's, I think it's behind this light. Hold, hold Mike. Hi, Mike. Meet Chad. It's not over there. It's right around. Oh, here it is. Yep. This is what we picked over WB Soffel. So this stuff comes in. You know what this costs? It's like 70 bucks for a pint. Oh, it's expensive. Yeah. So they, they don't only have this. It usually gets released along with the Bond and Lillard. So I'd be anxious to try this against what won today. Let's just get to what won. They already know. So no suspense here. Wild Turkey 101. Here, bud. You can have that back. That's a... Uh, so, so, so here's the thing. They are both. They are both the exact same mash bill, seventy five, thirteen, twelve. Mm -hmm. Uh, one's a, six proof points higher. This one. Mm -hmm. And this one is probably 
aged a little longer. It's got a it's got a blend. It's got some ten and twelve in it, which this has six and eight. Right. It's if you've been running around looking for this seventy some seventy right sixty seventy I don't know for a pint, which equals one twenty to one fifty for a fifth right ish. Compared yeah. Compared to twenty five dollars. Thirty twenty five thirty yeah. It's a no brainer in my book. Wild well, turkey I mean, one on one make you gobble. It's been around for a long time. Delicious too. Hey, drinking bourbon is supposed to be fun. Do it with your friends, but do it responsibly. Don't yeah. be a whiskey wise ass. What else you got? Don't don't be a bourbon butthole. Don't yeah, don't do that either. And whatever you do, don't drink and drive. No. Oh, if you drink, don't drive. Do the watermelon crawl.